Hello, so this is my latest toy. It's a Blackview DR900X two channel plus 4K camera. Uh, I also got the little like tampering device for the for the camera. Uh, what I've seen that it, that happens is that when I take it to the dealership for maintenance. Um, they disconnect my radar detector thinking it's a camera or something and I didn't like that it happened last time so I'm like huh what would happen if I really had a dash cam in here uh, sorry about the background noise and uh, they actually well they just dis disconnected it and they didn't reconnect it and I noticed that so I'm like if I ever get a dash cam uh, see if there's any way I could actually tamper proof it so got the little luckily this one had that option in there and i'm not sure if this will work but it's uh supposedly it has transfer speeds of up to 130 megabytes per second i'm not sure if it could actually read and write at that speed i didn't look into the specifications that much uh hopefully it'll work if not it'll just have to do with the uh 64 gigabyte card that comes with it in the meantime because the black view cards are way too expensive for my taste so i kind of opened it already didn't take out much but a little nice box and this one i did open it fully so i could take so i'll be using this instead it has like two caps This is like the mounting one. Let's see if I could open it. This is where the camera will be placed instead of using the, the one it comes with. This out of the box. It's a bit larger than it. It does come with these two screws in there. I'll check how this works. Hmm. Okay. I did see like a little Allen key um, instructions. We'll see how that works. For the camera itself, here it is. Uh, front and rear, nothing much. 4K camera. This one has the option for um, for a SIM card. Well, the SIM module, the the Ethernet module, so that way you could just like connect the SIM card and it'll tell you via message to your cell phone if there's been any. That's the alarm for my house. Sorry, if there's has been any like if anybody hits the car or anything, it'll notify you on the cell phone. It's a hundred and fifty dollar add-on. I think I saw on Amazon. We'll see how. Maybe in the future. Here's a rear cam. Nothing else in there. Just a camera. Uh, manual. And multiple non-spoken or readable languages, I guess. Um, this out. So we have first. This is the cat, the rear camera cable. Accessories. Um, sticky stuff. SD card. USB stick. Pretty nice that they include the panel remover. Okay, this is the one I'm gonna be using. Wait, is it? Yeah, that's the one. And there should be another one, I think. It's a cigarette lighter one. I'm not gonna be using this one. Maybe just initially, just to 
make sure I put it in the correct place before fixing it. But yeah, nothing else in here and we'll see how it all works out. I'm gonna play with it maybe to later tonight or during the weekend. Okay. Okay, so I'm fooling around with the how do you call this? The tamper proof thing, my jig. So as you see, I pulled the other one out. It's pretty simple. It just has the button. And hold up, give me a second. It just has a, like a button, and you. I'm gonna give me a tripod or something. It just has a button, and pull it out. If you see here. And while it's pretty simple, like the stock one, it turns and you could adjust accordingly. And I guess you just could move it. The other one, holy crap, it's hard as heck. I mean, it fits, it locks itself in place, and then you really have to, like, twist it to adjust it. What it does, once you set the position, and let's say this thing is on the window already, you go ahead and you lock it there, and then here, oh, and I forgot to mention, by the way, that's where you put the SD card in there. Go ahead and you grab the other end, It's in there. The only thing is that's gonna be like kind of like sticking out a bit is that so you can't really like move the cables or remove them or anything because it has this little plastic thing in there and in order to remove this you gotta have an allen key with it so you could disconnect the camera. So that's pretty sweet. I really like that. Even though it's an additional purchase it doesn't come with the camera I like that it actually exists okay Let me play around with it okay so this is where I'm gonna be installing it it's a 2020 CRV idea is to put it back there I already took off the radar detector which is hanging by the mirror itself what well, sorry about that. What someone told me, I'm sorry about the glare, is to remove that little cover there and then run the wires through the edge. Careful with the airbag. Uh, not to run the wires over it, but try to run it or either around it or underneath it. That way there's no problems when deploying it. And then I'm going to see if I'm able to run it across the edge through the back. If not, I'm going to have to run it through the edge down there and all the way by the bottom to the back. We'll see how I do that. I want to see this part first. Okay, so I just removed the little plastic thing. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it, but there's actually like a cutoff of where the wire from the camera on the CRV goes through. So I'm gonna try to route it through there. There's even something to hold on the wire. It's two cables, remember, and the other end somewhere around there. We'll see. I'm not sure if I could take the other plastic head thing off. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so the thing does come off. Kind of sturdy in there, but it's off. Scared the crap out of me, but it's off. Okay, let's see how I could wire this now. 
Okay, so I'm at the back now. This is what I had to do in order to wire it. I wanted to make it look as transparent as possible, as professional as possible. So um, first thing I did was remove that panel right there. Um, after removing that panel, I uh, went ahead and I removed the one over here. Took this one off and then um, remove the grommet from here and from in there and here and what I did was uh, pass a you see here oh, shit what's it called I forgot oh, the tie wrap pass this tie wrap from here so it went all the way in here and then I grabbed the cable in here taped it up I already removed, removed some of it but this was all taped up uh, and just guided it through there pass it up here and I'm gonna place it right in the middle and that's where the rear camera is gonna go okay see how this keeps going okay so it's the next morning it started raining last night and I wasn't able to finish it off so this a pillar right here was a pain in the butt to remove um luckily i found a video of someone i'll put i'll put it on the description because that's how it explains on how to remove it uh what you basically have to do is remove the bottom clip the mid clip and then the one on here at the top it, by the airbag is where the tricky one is. it's like a safety i guess because you could actually pop it out but you cannot pop it out fully you have to like really get in there that i remove it or have the proper tool to do so so what this guy did instead is let me get the let me get this over here you see like i mentioned he popped the middle one the bottom one and this little guy is the one i was mentioning which is different what you, about it, what you basically do is, once you pop the bottom ones off, is that you're gonna slide it off. You're gonna slide the A, the, 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 shit, I forgot. You're gonna slide this thing off in a way that you're gonna pull it upward. So basically this thing is still stuck and this little guy just pops off. It's a real pain in the ass. If you don't find that little video. Anyways, this got me thinking because I routed the cable through the edge all the way to the back, but I think I'm going to have to do it differently because of the airbags. I had seen a video in which you're not supposed to cross it. This is the idea why I took it all off, but I remember the rear one and the rear one, you basically just go from the back part to going to the front, but I think you probably cross an airbag. Um, and since I didn't take it all apart, I just put the cable inside. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take it out and route it differently. Okay, so uh, I finished the install, forgot to do the last video. So it's another part of the day. Uh, if you see the camera is right there. Kind of like how it's sort of hidden. Bottom is the radar detector and uh, cables go through the plastic panel through where the mirror auto dim cable is. And it goes through the top and then it goes down. As I had mentioned, I was gonna change it. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, where I connected it was at the same place where I connected the directed 504K uh, at the same fuses. Since that little 504K, I don't think it even uses like an amp. Uh, I went ahead and I connected the camera on it. So if you wanna see which fuses I use for uh, constant, ground, and, um, and accessory, go ahead and check out the other video. Well, hope you like this one. Um, if anything, let me know in the comments and I'll try to re reply as soon as possible.